Waddle Dee for Smash Brothers Ultimate and this huge new Kirby game leak. A 3D Kirby, let's talk all about it. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. It is such a crazy time because every single day we've got something to discuss in terms of Smash Brothers leaks, Nintendo, and today is no different. We have something to discuss regarding a character called Bandana Waddle D. A lot of you guys' favorites. I hear a lot of comments. You know, yesterday's video also talked a little bit about that Kirby game leak that has now gotten an official trailer on Nintendo's channel. So Kirby Fight. Fighters 2 is official, we now know the playable fighters, all the Kirby copy abilities, and we even know that Meta Knight, Magalore, even King DDD, and Bandana Waddle D are all playable fighters in that game. So essentially, it's sort of a Kirby Smash Brothers type of game, right? And a lot of people have been making that comparison as well. So the idea here is that there's even more that leaked just today that actually talks about another Kirby game. Yes, another massive leak within a Kirby Discovery has just been made and that could actually point to not a 2.5D kind of side scroller or a brawler like this game but it could actually point to a big 3D Kirby game so yes kind of like what was rumored to actually happen on the Nintendo GameCube and then after on Wii so there's a lot to discuss in terms of Kirby Fighters for Smash Brothers as well, because a lot of people are taking this for more evidence that Bandana Waddle D is going to waddle into Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, because, of course, one, it is a first-party Nintendo character, it is, of course, a Sakurai character, it's a character from the Kirby franchise that is, you know, very high on the pedestal for Smash Brothers characters, but also, it's a cute character that has another move style that not a lot of fighters in Smash Brothers have. He has a spear, which works very well as you know, a helicopter for certain moves, and is also a good melee weapon that we don't really have all that much aside from like a Byleth move or something like that. So we'd we'll be very curious to find out more about that. And yes, there's leaks to discuss in terms of Smash Brothers and even that new Kirby game too. So very excited about all of that. And of course, I've been answering a lot of you guys' questions about Smash Ultimate and new fighters in our show Question Blocked, where I answer your questions. What do I think of your favorite game? How do you start making YouTube content? Well, whatever you can think of, send your question through to block content at mail at gmail.com and I will answer your question live on the show in our next question blocked episode and yes we have just done our first batch of recordings for the new blocked content let's play show it's going to drop really soon when I have time to edit all of the episodes that we shot so far then I'm going to do it all in bulk and you guys are going to really enjoy what we made together and our next session could be really soon so excited about that let's jump into the news of today and first I want to talk about that brand new 3D potential Kirby game that has dropped this tweet comes to us from at Furubi and it says Angie massive darn Kirby discovery huge actually huge of course all in caps Hall left code for sample programs or something related in Kirby Fighter 2's default dot bin it says in it is a namespace called Kirby 3D there's things for Kirby Blade Knight Sword and Waddle D's a lot of these have actual code, and yes, even providing a screenshot that has all of this information in there. So even characters, a lot of other details that you might miss, effects, and even characters like that. You know, even character animations, like idle animations and stuff like that. There is code in there, so kind of like action script, it's all hidden inside of that code, which is a really crazy discovery. It essentially means we have found a brand new game that has not yet been announced, a Kirby game, right after after a Kirby game that has not yet been announced has been leaked before. So yeah, I don't know what's happening over there at Hall or the Kirby franchise, but definitely a lot of information is getting out that shouldn't be out right now. So really curious about what's coming because if you think about the fact that Kirby has been a 2.5D kind of side scroller for the longest time, but they used to evolve the franchise in pretty huge ways. You know, think of Kirby 64 and then transforming into stuff like Kirby's Air Ride that was essentially sort of a 3D 
platformer because you could even hop off your little warp star in the city trial mode and just roam around. So there was already some precedent for it with Sakurai at the helm, but now they've gone back to the older formula. I don't really know how successful it has been for Nintendo, but they do keep making Kirby games for different consoles, be it Star Allies or Robobot or other games like that. But I do wonder when is that next installment for the Kirby franchise going to be, right? And also, if we are talking about Kirby, then we have to talk about that brand new Kirby game, Kirby Fighters 2. Because of course that game now has another playable character inside there. No, not just King Dedede, we have that in Smash. Magalore is maybe a little bit too new and too niche. And of course Meta Knight is also in Smash. No, Bandana Waddle D, that a lot of people see as basically the next in line for a Kirby newcomer in Smash Brothers Ultimate. And do I think that these, you know, have chances? I don't really know at this point. There's a lot of people that have made great mods, great fan art of Bandana Waddle Dee in Smash, and it would definitely make sense. I don't know how much sense it would make for a fighter's pass, because this seems a little bit more like a vanilla character, kind of like what Piranha Plant was, you know? It was a great bonus character, it was from an already represented franchise, but I don't know if Sakurai and the Smash team really want to focus on a brand new character that actually is from a represented franchise, that is already in Smash Brothers, right? Every character so far has been from something brand new, save from Byleth, who of course reps a brand new game in the series, right? And Bandana Waddle Dee wouldn't necessarily do that unless it is Kirby Fighters 2. So it has some crossover over there that I think it might still happen, but it would also be a little bit of a disappointment for a lot of people, simply because after Min Min especially, we are expecting these big third party characters to finally drop and for Smash Brothers to make a big mark in the gaming community once again. Think about characters like Crash Bandicoot that also have new games coming out, right? Crash 4, It's About Time, would make total sense to kind of put that on Switch and also promote it with having Crash and Smash. That would be the greatest one-two punch in video game history, right? It would be like they followed up Banjo-Kazooie's reveal in Smash Brothers with Microsoft saying, yes, we're doing a brand new Banjo game. It's going to be like this remake thing, or it's going to be like a mashup of different things, but they didn't end up capitalizing on that amazing marketing opportunity, and maybe they will do that with Crash. They could potentially do that with Bandana Waddle D over here, but yeah, I don't really know if they want to support another first-party character for that fight, Pass, especially after the backlash of Byleth and the kind of lukewarm response to Min Min. Initially, it was really good, but really no one has been playing Min Min at all, and there has been no real enthusiasm for that character after. So the shockwaves aren't as big as the ones that save Hero made, or even Joker or Terry, and of course Banjo and Kazooie. So really curious to find out what Sakurai really wants to do with that character, if he really wants to include Bandana Waddle Dee at all. You know, I don't know if Sakurai created this character or if it was someone else on the Kirby team. Of course, Sakurai is still responsible for Kirby as a whole, created the character in the world, but isn't closely involved with all of those games anymore, right? He's usually busy with either Kid Icarus Uprising stuff or, of course, Super Smash Brothers that takes up about 75% of his entire career, which is totally insane. Now, I love the idea of another character coming from the Kirby franchise. I think they're cute. You know, we need a lot more mascot characters and a lot less of those humanoid anime type characters. I feel they are well represented in that first fighter's past, but we need a lot more cutesy, a lot more out there character designs. So yeah, Bandana Waddle Dee isn't all that unique in terms of design, but with that spear, I think a lot of cool unique animations and a moveset that no other character has, but still you can use Kirby as a base for the character. That would be really cool. I can really see something original happening with that character. So I would be in for having this character in Smash Brothers Ultimate. I not, don't really sure how a lot of other people are thinking about it, but for me, it is a smash for this character, right? So really curious what you guys think of all this. If you comment down below, that could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video. And today's common question is, do you want to have Bandana Waddle Dee in Super Smash Brothers, right? It is a question that is on a lot of people's minds at this moment. And as for a previous common question winner, our answer comes to us from our user Piranha Plant Amiibo saying, I do think we will get a Smash Fighter very soon, but not a Nintendo Direct. Announcements like Heart Warriors 2 would have been done there and not as shadow drops. Here is who I think Fighter 7 will be. Monster Hunter, 40%. Monster Hunter got known direct, which is weird for a third party game. Also, Rathalos is already in Smash, so there won't be problems with Monster Hunter being in Smash. Also, Nintendo likes to promote games with a Smash inclusion as well. Then, a Disgea rep, 
25%, maybe because of the free trial. Also, like I said, Nintendo likes to promote games with Smash inclusion. Crash, 15%. Crash Bandicoot has a really good chance. He's iconic, popular, and got a new game, but I think he will come later, maybe as fighter number nine. A Danganronpa rep, 9%. It's Danganronpa's 10th anniversary, so if there will ever be a Danganronpa rep, it would be this year. Gino, 5%. He's a fan favorite and it's Mario's anniversary. However, there wasn't a Super Mario RPG 2 or a remake, so maybe not. King Boo, 5%. There wasn't a Luigi's Mansion 3 Spirit event yet, which is weird. Also, they might announce him now and release him on Halloween. Other characters, 1%. So thank you so much Piranha Plant Amiibo for sending in your comment and really well thought out. I do think Crash has maybe a little higher chance that you're giving it credit for, especially because of all that crossover and the new game and the timing just being perfect. But we'll have to wait and see who actually gets into the game, right? But thank you so much for sending in all your comments, guys. These are so much fun to read through. And of course, a huge shout out to our latest Patreon supporters and the super chats you guys sent during our live streams. You guys make block content possible. So if you want to have yourself created in pixel art, join me for a discussion, or even have your own ideas become animations, go to patreon.com slash blocked content. There's a bunch of incredible rewards there, and they're waiting for you. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the blocked content family yet, hit subscribe now, smash that like button, and ring the bell for notifications, and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please stay tuned for more blocked content. See ya. Thank you.